Recently, I had a really close call on my job site where one of my job site heaters fan failed and the unit actually caught fire. Pretty scary for a little bit, but the, the incident actually got me looking a lot closer at how I could make my job site a lot safer. So after replacing my fire extinguisher, which was frozen, I started looking around, I replaced my incandescent string lights, and after that, I replaced my metal halide wobble light. And I replaced it with a Lind Beacon 360 Trek. It's an LED area light. And guys, for years, I've been using these 360 degree metal halide wobble lights on my job sites. They work great. The metal halide bulbs produced light by passing, um, it passes, electric current through a combination of mercury and metal halide gas. And it's known for its quality of light and efficiency over incandescent bulbs. But that was before LED. The negative issues that I had with uh, metal halide also were that they had the longest warm-up period in the world, which um, is really a pain if you think about when you go to, when you, when you maybe need to move the light. You've been using it for a while, you unplug it, you move it, plug it back in. And additionally, metal halide has the shortest lifespan of all the bulbs and it's pretty expensive. So, but the real reason is that they run hot and my, my wobble light has a fan to keep it cool. So that got me thinking, what if that fan failed? So LED, LED is faster, cooler, safer. And this Beacon 360 Trek light, um, it emits, it emits 7,000 lumens. Uh, the best feature about the Trek light is that you can have, you get instant startup, even um, even in cold temperatures. Full light output, plug it in, turn on, it's done. It's there, no warm up period. The Beacon 360 Trek light is constructed out of heavy duty cast aluminum housing here with a, um, a polycarbonate kind of uh, frame around the LEDs, like a lens, a, a waterproof polycarbonate lens. Um, it is six inches in diameter, 14 inches tall, and weighs, the head of it weighs 10 pounds. So uh, it has a, a 14 and a half foot uh, long foot cord, which we found on our job sites, pretty much got us to the center of any room we were working on. An IP64 rating means that uh, it is protected from total dust ingress, as well as water spray in any direction. So a huge part in determining LED quality is how the light actually dissipates heat. LEDs give off less heat than typical incandescent and fluorescent bulbs, but they still generate heat. So in order to, to achieve a 50,000 uh, hour plus lifespan, the folks at Lynn, they needed to effectively and efficiently pull that heat away from the LED arrays that surround this head. So they did it with a massive amount of aluminum right here. And the Beacon 360 Trek has deep aluminum channels on, on the head that are used as heat sinks. And it basically pulls away and stores heat from the light that it produces, or uh, from, from, the, from the LEDs. There is also underneath this area right here, a three-way rocker switch, which is high, off, and 50%. And like I said, it's 7,000 lumen. The light temperature on this light is 4,700 Kelvin, which I would describe to you guys as a bright light with no blue tinting. It's just a bright white light. Um, color temperature, like I said, is measured in Kelvin and LEDs, well, LEDs produce white light in a number of shades and color temperatures. So for instance, um, warm white, is similar to say incandescent bulbs and halogen bulbs. We know uh, that's somewhere around 2700 to 3300 Kelvin. There's neutral and cool white, which is 3000 to 5300 Kelvin. There's cool daylight, which is 5300 to 6500 Kelvin. The lower the number, the warmer the light appears. Cool white light, like the, tree, uh, the beacon track, has been associated through studies for better concentrating. So it actually makes sense to me that you would make a work light in that color temperature. It makes sense. Uh, the LED light, the array on the Beacon Trek was engineered to last over 50,000 hours. And we've been testing and using this on our job site uh, for months, uh, several months anyway, uh, on this remodel that we're working on. It is incredibly bright. Uh, it casts light in 360 degrees as well as upwards through this lens up here. And we really liked the light color. The LED brightness was adequate. Um, 
all of the polls, all the, the trades that we polled agreed. The electrician, the plumber, the plasterer, they all said give up great light. The most noticeable advantage is that it has a fast startup. So you plug it in, instant, instantaneous light, no warm up, no cool down period like metal halide bulbs. We found that the LEDs on this light produce a steady light without a flicker and you could dim it. You could dim it to 50%. Um, another feature that I really liked is it's, it's solid state LED. So the, the, the LED strips of the arrays, the lights, they're, they're super hard to damage. They resist drops and physical shock from banging it around and stuff like that. Um, this 360 truck light and all of the, the Lind lights, they have several options for mounting. They're accessories. Um, this one come, came with an adjustable four foot to eight foot tripod. There's also a powerful magnet mount that you can attach to structural steel. Um, there is an upside down mounting for an eye bolt on the bottom of this frame right here. And there is a clamp mount that you can actually like a big carabiner that you can clamp to scaffolding or ladders. And lastly, there's kind of a low profile floor stand, which basically is, lets you put it right on the floor and, and move it around. Our unit came with the tripod and eye bolt. And the tripod's sturdy, it's easy to set up and easy to adjust. As far as improvements, I don't have a lot to ding the actual light on. Um, the area that I think Lynn needs to look at is the tripod. The tripod knobs, they basically utilize cheap plastic heads threaded on on and in, in my opinion that's a weak link and you see that on most tool stands and things plastic knobs they always fail additionally the light actually slips over the tripod and locks into place with a plastic knob so I would actually rather see some sort of like a, a clevis pin or some sort of a mechanical locking connection um, also one thing that I think would be really helpful would be a clip on the bottom to clip the power cord in so that you know, it keeps it from lifting off the floor when you extend it too far. Because when you extend it too far, the cord just comes out like that. Um, lastly, this unit, um, it's, it's, it's not an inexpensive unit. It's like $300. It doesn't come with a case. So we ended up using an old Festool sustainer case with some foam in it. And we put our light heads in that. And then we just took the tripods and strapped them with bungees in our, in our trailer. It, it's, it's a $300 light, guys. So it's, I don't want this thing bouncing around on my trailer. LED lighting, it, look, it has a relatively high cost and a low lifetime cost. The technology is going to pay for itself. Uh, it's going to pay the investor over time in reduced maintenance and replacement costs over time. You're not going to be re replacing these bulbs anytime soon. So utilizing LED technology on the job fight site means spending a little more upfront, but it makes sense. This particular light is instantaneous. It's not a fire hazard like other bulbs. It lasts a long time, low maintenance, and I feel that the Beacon 360 LED light is, is an investment. It's something that has made us a little more efficient on the job site, certainly safer, made uh, peace of mind as a boss, um, and it, it, we've actually replaced multiple string lights, incandescent string lights with this. It's bright, the lighting is uniform, it's rugged, and it's a pretty compact, portable design. Highly recommend it. I'm Rob Robillard. I'll see you guys at the next review, and please, Consider subscri subscribing to the videos below, to our channel below. We'll see you at the next review. Take care.